Hello everyone. My name is Sonia Lamba, Assistant Professor, ABS Engineering College. Uh, so welcome you all uh, to this lecture series of computer networks. And uh, today uh, we are going to discuss uh, what are the topics that we will uh, covering in uh, the upcoming lectures. So uh, these are the topics that we are going to cover in uh, the upcoming lectures. So in lecture first, second and third, uh, we are going to discuss uh, the various roles and responsibilities handled by the data link layer. Uh, we will discuss the various error detection and correction methods. Uh, in lecture number fourth, we will discuss about the various access control protocols provided by the data link layer. Uh, in lecture number fifth, we will uh, discuss uh, how to create uh, the frames and how the bit and byte stuffing is performed. And in lecture number six, uh, we will discuss the various protocols that are used to control the flow among uh, the sender and receiver. So uh, as we all know that uh, the main responsibility of data link layer is to uh, deliver uh, the frames from one node to the next node, or we can say node to node delivery of the frames is uh, the responsibility of the data link layer. So uh, at the data link layer, we have the physical addresses and based on these physical addresses, nodes will be identified. Um, so uh, uh, inside a LAN, if we uh, have to uh, deliver one frame uh, to the next node, so uh, with the help of physical addresses, it is possible. Physical addresses are of 48 bits. Uh, and physical addressing is one of the responsibility of the data link layer. And we are going to discuss this topic in uh, the very first lecture, uh, lecture one. Uh, in lecture one, two, and three, we will discuss the various error control, detection, and correction techniques. Uh, we have in total five error detection and correction techniques. Out of these five techniques, only four will be used for, um, only uh, only one technique will be used for error correction, uh, while uh, uh, rest are used for error detection. Uh, so with the help of Hamming code, we can uh, correct the errors. Uh, um, but only one bit error can be corrected with the help of Hamming code. So all these are the error detection correction methods. We are going to discuss uh, these uh, uh, error detection techniques in detail in lecture one, two, and three. In lecture number fourth, uh, we will discuss uh, the various access control protocols and access control protocols are uh, categorized into the three categories, random access controlled access and channelization protocols. So all these are the protocols, ALOHA, CSMA, CSMA, CD, CSMA, CA, reservation, polling, token passing, FDMA, TDMA, CDMA. So all these are the techniques with the help of which we can control uh, the access among uh, the, uh, we can control the access of the shared channel among the devices. In the uh, lecture number five, uh, we will discuss uh, the frames. Uh, we will discuss about the frame format and we will discuss uh, the two uh, framing techniques known as bit stuffing and byte stuffing. We will discuss uh, the numericals as well, how the bit stuffing and byte stuffing is performed at the data link layer. And in the last lecture, lecture number six, we are uh, going to discuss about the various flow control protocols. So for flow control protocols are also divided into the two categories uh, for noiseless and noisy channel. Uh, we need to control the flow among the sender and receiver because if uh, the sender is producing uh, the data at the faster rate and receiver is not able to receive the data at the same rate. Uh, so in that case, uh, frames at the receiver's end uh, will be discarded. So to avoid uh, this uh, um, uh, wastage of bandwidth, uh, we need to control the flow. We need uh, receiver need to somehow inform the sender uh, that uh, I, I cannot uh, receive the frames at this speed. So slow down your process of uh, sending the frames. So we have uh, these uh, protocols, noiseless and noisy channel. For noiseless channel, we have the simplest and stop and wait protocol. And for noisy channel, we have stop and wait ARQ, go back and ARQ, and selective repeat ARQ. In the lecture number six, we are going to discuss all these protocols in, um, in much detail. So uh, these are the references. So thank you everyone for your patient learning.